Thank you for watching Back Porch Wisdom with Pastor Rob Wynn. We pray that this weekly broadcast will be a blessing to you. And now here is Pastor Rob Wynn with today's message. Hi, this is Pastor Rob Wynn from Cornerstone Church in Linden, Alabama. I want to welcome you to Back Porch Wisdom. To, uh, for the last couple of sessions, we've been talking. I've heard this phrase in my, in, in my heart. You don't have to die. And, and so I, I, I knew it was really more for physical healing because people are, Christians are dying from cancer and from all kind of diseases. And Jesus, by His stripes, you were healed. In uh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, it says, For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that He might destroy the works of the devil. And actually, on the cross, He destroyed the works of the devil for, from forevermore. He said, it is finished. And so, Jesus is not going to heal people. He has healed people. It is a receiving problem when people don't get healed. And so you need to know that Jesus has already done the work and, and that you have the power to choose. In Deuteronomy chapter uh, 30 verse 19, he said he's setting before us life and death, blessing and cursing. Choose life that you and your seed may live. Now Jesus is that life. And that life paid for according to Isaiah 53. He bore our sicknesses and carried our diseases. And he also bore our sins away. And so you don't have to be sick anymore. You can be healed by Jesus Christ if you'll only receive it. In the book of uh, Romans chapter 5, we find out He's given you the power to be able to choose. You find that uh, in verse 5 He says that the, the hope does not make a shame for the love of God was shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Ghost. In other words, God was shed abroad through Jesus Christ in our hearts and it shouldn't be disappointing you in any area of your life. And so I want to drop down to though verse 15 through 17 and read this. It says, But not as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if that through the offense one man be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, hath abounded unto many, and not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to condemnation or judgment, but the free gift is of many offenses unto justification. For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more, isn't that cool? Much more, not more, much more, they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall live excuse me, shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ. Now you're not reigning in life if, you, if you're sick and poor. The, see, the, the curse was spiritual death, it was uh, poverty, and it was physical si sickness. And so Jesus paid for all that. He didn't just pay for your sins, He paid for everything. I, I saw this quote one time, and I'll read it to you, and I can't remember where I found it, but this is great. Mercy is the outward expression of compassion, or love, or God. It assumes need on the part of Him receives it, and resources adequate to meet the need on the part of Him who shows it. Mercy is the act of God, where the end result is peace to the heart of man. It is the ability to fill misery with another and show actions to alleviate the misery. 
Mercy has one purpose, which is to help those in need. Mercy is the outward act of, of showing God's love to someone in trouble, even if it is of their own making. Grace gives you what you do not deserve, and mercy doesn't give you what you do deserve. The works, they work together in every area of our relationship and fellowship with God through Jesus Christ. You don't have to die. See, Jesus has made it possible that, that whether it's spiritual death, whether you're living in sin and you need to be saved or, you, or you're uh, backslidden, you need to come back to God, Jesus has made it uh, possible that just by asking Him into your heart, you can come back to God. If you're physically sick in your body or your mind, Jesus is able to clear that up. When you think about the mad men of Gadara, they were crazy as lunatics and cutting themselves and doing all kind of demonic things to themselves, trying to hurt themselves. And when Jesus came on the scene and they received Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, Jesus caused them to become into their right mind. And they said such a heart they wanted to follow Him, but Jesus said for them to go back it, from, to where they're from and to witness to those people about the miracle working power of God. And so today, if that's you, if you're sick in your mind, you're sick in your body, the Bible says by His in Peter, second, 1 Peter 2, chapter tw uh, verse 24, by His stripes you were healed. And so let's pray that prayer first. If you're not saved or if you're backslidden, let's pray for you to get to God. Say this with me. Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and that you raised Him from the dead to save me. I believe it with my heart and I've said it with my mouth. I am your child right now. Now let's pray, pray for healing. Say this with me. Heavenly Father, I recognize right now the Lordship of Jesus Christ take, and by His stripes I was healed. And so I receive that into my body right now, the healing power of God. And I believe it in my heart and I've said it with my mouth. I believe it's a done deal right now. So go on Cornerstone Church, the number four, the letter U dot com, and, uh, and give me a report. You can see all the messages, the different messages. And then go on YouTube. There's a book called Healing the Sick by T.L. Osborne. You can actually hear T.L. Osborne reading that book. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing comes by the message of God. God bless you and have a good day. If you're ever in the Linden, Alabama area, we invite you to worship with us at Cornerstone Church. For more information and other resources, visit our website at cornerstonechurchforyou.com. Bonner Media specializes in websites, videos, and graphic design right here in Alabama. Need your website maintained weekly to include your latest events, messages, and sermons? Bonner Media is ready to integrate, merge, and display all forms of media to promote on the latest platform of your choice to radio, television, or social media. Bonner Media. Websites, videos, and graphics.